So I've got this solar array that's connected to a Chevy Volt battery and a Chinese uh, inverter. And let me show you what problem I have when I try to plug my car into it. Okay, so initially it says it's gonna charge, but then, just wait, oh, fault. So I'm getting a fault, and what's happening is that the chargers wanna look for a ground, and if they don't find a ground, they're gonna to go to fault. Let me show you how I fix that. So start with a plug like this, and then I rip the uh, prongs out of the end so it just have the ground line. Now I'm gonna connect my ground to this. Now I just have this white wire, which should be green. I don't have green, but it's just going to the lug, and that has just got a ground on it. The other end goes to, um, indirectly goes to a rod, a copper rod that's pounded into the, well, that's actually tied into the rebar of the cement of the garage. Okay, now that there's a direct ground, all of the grounds are connected together in here. When I plug this in, I'm gonna go counter, charging. I hear it doing something in the car. And no fault if we go and look at how many watts it's pulling. Now, you can see we're drawing about almost 1500 watts now. Um, I had a switch, I had it plugged into a that power strip and I couldn't get it to work. So I got an extension cord and I plugged it into that. And now all seems well. I, I don't know, it worked before on the power strip. So I don't know for sure what's going on, but it totally seems to be working now. I've tried it several times. So that's a very slow way to charge, but it can be done. Obviously you could do level two if you had a bigger inverter. Yeah, maybe that's the way to go. And more solar panels. I don't have enough solar panels, so it wouldn't do me any good.